In this exercise, we are going to style vector layers using QGIS version 3. You can find the data for this exercise at our OpenCourseWare website, ocw.un-ihe.org. If you scroll down, you'll find our course data. We'll download uh, the data from exercise 7. And we'll put it in a new folder called Exercise 7 under QGIS Exercises. And in QGIS we can make a favorite in the browser panel. And we add the Exercise folder as a favorite so we can easily access the shape files that we just have downloaded. Let's first check the properties and we see here that the projection is UTM 36 North on ARC 1960. That is the case for all these files. We can drag and drop them to the map canvas and then we can change the order so we can see the data. The first thing that we are going to do is to uh, save all this data into a geo package. A geo package is a spatial database. By saving it into a spatial database, we can keep all the different layers together. Let's call it Ajumani, that's the name of this place in Uganda. And we make an empty table, just to start with. There it is. The next thing we can do is to export these different shape files to the geo package. We can browse to the Ajumani geo package and we change the name of the layer to the name of the shapefile, in this case endcap. And we keep everything as it is, so it simply creates a copy of the layer but puts it in the geo package spatial database. And you see that the new name was the old name but then with Ajumani before it. So we also do it for the household connections we choose Ajumani Geo Package. We change the layer name to Household Connection. Spaces are allowed. Then for the hydrants, same procedure. A Geo Package can contain any type of uh, layer, raster or vector can also contain other information. Here we store the lines. So now we can remove all the ones that are not uh, uh, in the database, but are the individual shape files, because we don't need them anymore. We want to work on the database with all the layers together in one file. Now we also have the area map, which just gives the boundary of the study area. We still need to export that. There it is, and we also remove the original shapefile. And there we are. If we hover our mouse over the layer name, we can see that it's the name of the layer in the geo package. If I refresh the browser panel, 
I see here the different layers under the Ajumani Geo package. We can now remove the empty one that we made when we uh, made for the first time the database. Now it's gone, but there's still a copy in memory in the layers list, so we can also remove it there. And these are then all our layers from the Geo package. Now we would like to have some background information where this is on the globe. So for that purpose we can download um, the Quick Map Services plugin, which contains a nice access to all kinds of online resources. So under the web menu you will find then the Quick Map Services. When you first install it you can go to the settings uh, menu, choose more services and get a contributed pack. This will make the list as large as I have on my screen. Here we will use the Google Satellite as a background. And we see that the Google Satellite adapts to the projection of the layers, which is the UTM, which is UTM zone 36 north, which is for Uganda. We can rearrange the layers a bit and now let's do the styling. I'll first choose the household connections. We'll change the simple marker. We want this cross and we want to make it a certain size. So we choose 20 and we choose their map units. With map units we can make it uh, relative to the map units, which means that the size is fixed um, like an object on the map. So if we zoom uh, the size changes, in fact, on the screen. If you use millimeters, the size is uh, not relative to the map units. Here we see the effects. When we zoom in, the crosses get larger. Let's uh, check the attribute table of the pipelines and see what information we are going to use for the styling. We see there's information about the, the network and the material and the diameter of the pipes. Now we're going to visualize the different uh, attributes. When we press F7 we get the layer styling panel and there we can see live changes. So we have the layer Ajumani pipeline selected and I choose categorized and as the column to take the data from I choose network and we see that there's a distribution and transmission uh, type. So now I'm going to change the colors. Let's make the these ones blue. And we also change it to map units. That looks nice. And let's do the same for the transmission lines. And we need something bigger. And play a bit around with the colors and the size also make it relative to the map units and we can live see the results just pan and zoom a bit and that looks nice now we are going to add labels so in the layer styling panel we can also choose the labels and we choose single labels and then we can choose a column. For example, we can label it with the material. You see here live the changes. Or we can change it to the diameter. But we can also uh, combine different columns. Therefore, we use this expression dialog. Under the fields and values, we can choose which field we want. And if we double click, it appears there in double quotes, so the double quotes refer to the columns, and then with the two lines, vertical lines, we can add things. And if we add things in single quotes, we add a string. And here, so here we added a dash, and we do again the vertical lines, and we're going to add diameter, the column, which is then again in double quotes. And then we want to add the units in millimeters, so in single quotes we add space and millimeters. And here in the output preview you see then how it is built up. So the space is really important. 
to have the unit separated from the rest. Let's change the font. Make it Tahoma. Keep the size at 10. And let's make it blue. And we see live the changes. And that's very nice on this layer styling panel. So remember with F7 you can get that. We make a text buffer so make it more visible. And we change the placement option to curved. And also we're going to change that it will be on the line and not above the line. And now we see that um, the labels follow the curves and are through the different lines. It looks really nice. And they are uh, depending on the zoom level. The size doesn't change, but the placement uh, changes. Now let's style the source layer. I'm going to show some uh, more advanced uh, styling by combining different markers. So we make it 20 map units. We keep the red fill color and we make the stroke uh, transparent. And we change the size of the stroke to 30. Then for the second one, we also make 30. And we change the color to white. And then map units. So the inner part is 20, the outer part is 30 and white, and this gives this nice result. Now for the tanks we can copy the style. Because we want the same but then in different colors. So we change then uh, the first simple marker to blue, to light blue. And the second one to dark blue. And you see the preview and when we zoom to the layer we can see the effect. And this way we can easily play around with the different styling features. For the end cap let's uh, choose a nice symbol for that. We can make a, a diamond. We see them now in green and we can play around with the color and the styles until we find a nice solution. Let's make the stroke color white. And adapt the size to map units. And the same for the stroke. Now it looks nice. Now we are going to uh, style a bit uh, the area map. So let's make the Google satellite image 40% uh, transparent. I'll zoom to the area. Zoom to layer. We switch it on and now we're going to style this polygon. We also use two markers. The first one we do a simple fill where the fill color is transparent. And for the stroke color we use gray. And we use two millimeters. And then we do the shape burst fill for the second one, where we go from gray to white. And we also change the opacity of both the gray and the white to 
and we change the distance of the shading to 5 millimeters. And now the only thing we need to do is we're going to invert this whole thing. So all, everything that we have set is applicable to outside of the polygon and that gives this amazing effect where we have a clear um, image inside the polygon and a more uh, shaded one outside. So the different ways to uh, export these styles. And we can export it as a layer definition file. So you can uh, then use it when you use the layer again and it will automatically read the styling. We can also save it as a QGIS layer style file. So then we can add it uh, to other uh, layers which use the same style. Also in the properties menu you have some different options. So we can also save it as an SLD file, which is styled layer description file, which is uh, an open standard for sharing uh, legends. But since we have a database, the best thing if you want to reproduce this is to save the style to the database. So every time the database is opened, it will by default use this style. So we give a style name, we give a description and we check the box use as default style for this layer. And also this we can do for every layer. Here we have the style of the pipelines. And we use it as default, so it will automatically load next time. Same for these combined markers. There you see really the power of the geo package that we can keep all the data related to a project together. And it's different from a project file because when we share the geo package, it's just a one database. It doesn't you don't need to take care of different paths to the files like what you have to do with it, uh, the project file. Let's uh, save the project now. Choose save as from the menu and we save it to a project file, the .qgset. Adjumani. So now I can start a new project and I'll just load the database. And the layers will then load with the same style. Note that our satellite background image wasn't there, so I have to add it. Google Satellite. And also have to make it transparent as we did before. And there we have exactly the same result. With our nice uh, legend. Also note that the order of the layers um, is not stored in the database. That's something you need to uh, manually rearrange. And that's the final result. So you learned how to style uh, vectors and how to save the styling into a geo package. In the next uh, session we are going to create uh, a map for printing in the print composer.